Hi, this is Richard from US Appliance over in Hemet, California. I want to talk to you today about getting your appliance serviced. When you have a service person come over, you should always, they should always be honest with you about whether they're using new or used parts. Now, I'm just going to give you a little, little heads up on what kind of parts you can use used. These are some examples of used parts. These are some examples of new parts. Okay. Now, one of the things that will go out on a dryer, Whirlpool-based dryers have wheels in the back and Maytags also. Now you can look at this wheel, there's a stem that goes in here, after a while this starts to wear out and it rattles. You can see that this is still a good wheel. This is perfectly fine used and they're not that expensive new. Consequently a lot of the parts that work well used are also pretty cheap new, probably because of that fact. Obviously knobs, you can see whether a knob is going to work or not. So you don't need to buy new knobs if you can find a matching used. Another part that goes out sometimes is water, a water valve. These are really simple to test. You put some water here, you put some water here, these hook up with your hose, you run AC through here, it should squirt out. It's really easy to test. These are fine to use as a used part. This is a dryer tensioner wheel. Every dryer has some version of this. Now this one here is kind of hard to turn. I would put some uh, lubricant on this, not WD-40 because I won't last very long. It will free it up, but you need something that's going to last to lubricate it. If it frees up, it's okay. You can see there's no rattle, there's no breakage. These are all good used parts. Another one is refrigerator fans. These are not very expensive new, usually, unless you have some fancy model. Um, same thing, you can test it out and make sure it works. AC, 120 volts, turn it on, see if it goes. Now I want to show you some stuff that should only be used new, that should only be, <laughs> only be, should, should only be installed new. Number one on the list is a water pump, a mechanical water pump. There are some electric water pumps, same thing, you can test them out if they should be really quiet. So you can use a used electric water pump, but a mechanical one, you never want to use a used one. Um, eventually they're going to fail. So all the machines that we have that need water pumps get new water pumps. And this is a Whirlpool based water pump. That's going to cover Whirlpool, Kenmore, Roper, Estate, KitchenAid, and some of the, some of the Maytags from 2007. Same thing on the brands here. This is a motor coupler. It's kind of like a U-joint in a car. Now you can get good used ones of these, but you really don't know this plastic cracks sometimes. That doesn't happen as much now because they have a metal insert in here, but you don't know what kind of stress this thing has been under. And they're not very expensive. I recommend always using new couplers. These are called agitator dogs. If you have a two-piece agitator, the bottom's going to go back and forth. The top's only going to go one way. It helps circulate the clothes in the tub. These are real cheap, okay? Retail, they're, I believe, 10 bucks or less. And if you look online, you can get them for down to about a buck, but I think you charge a nine dollar shipping. So you got to be careful, but these are definitely worth changing out. Another thing, and this is a lot of different brands of dryers have a, a, a thermal fuse. Okay, it's basically a safety feature. If your if your exhaust gets clogged up, it gets real hot inside the dryer. This is the washer, that's the dryer. It gets real hot in there, this will pop. This is again, this is a Whirlpool based, because most of what any used appliance person does is going to do Whirlpool based machines. So always use a new fuse. These tend to get weak after a while. You might change it out and it'll pop again a couple days later. So we always put new fuses in. Again, these things are about 10 bucks or less retail price. This is an oven igniter. It's like a little glow plug. It comes on, it gets almost white hot. There's two versions of these. There's a round and a flat. This is the flat oven igniter. These are a little more expensive new, but I always recommend that you put a new one of these in if you're having your, your machine repaired. Especially if you're doing it for yourself and you know how to do it, hey, try a used one, see if it works. But a brand new one's gonna last you another 10 years most likely. It's just worth the extra, it's just worth the extra money. You can get these anywhere from about 20 to about 70 bucks. Again, shopping around helps. And another real important piece, I would never even bother to put a used pair of coils in. Almost every brand of dryer, up until probably just a couple of years ago, uses these two same coils. They're called dryer coils. 
these are, uh, you can see all the different brands on here they cover. Almost every brand has these. You don't know how long they're going to last. Some of the older ones will be a little swollen. That's about the only depth, it's about the only way you can tell for sure. Always use, always use new coils. Never go with used ones. And if you're having a guy put in coils on your dryer, make sure he opens up that bag right in front of you. That's a lot of information today, but it's just a little, wanted to clear up some things about new and used parts. Some used parts are okay, but your technician should always tell you. All right, thanks for listening. This is Richard from US, from U.S. Appliance here in Hemet, California. We're located at 138 South State Street. Our phone number is 765-0010. It's 951 area code, 765-0010. Thanks for watching.